Hello my Soka Universe, this is a little bit of a makeshift video in the sense that I wanted to get something out for Sunday, November the 7th and I had a video scheduled but then I realized it's maybe better if I postponed that one. But since we have the Premier League review, I want to make a virtue out of it and show you another Premier League jersey and potentially shoot the second one as well because the way uh, Monday, November 8th is going, I'm not sure that I will be able to shoot all my review videos before the evening. So the review videos will probably come on Tuesday and then we anyway have international break, so that's fine. Uh, so you might get two uh, video, uh, videos in succession. So let's see. The shirt that I want to show. Yes, I'll show you a Premier League jersey. It's not a Premier League uh, background, so that's why all the makeshift uh, stuff here. But hey, I mean wearing Lusk, so in any case, I'm going to show you this in this audience title, this Aston Villa 13-14 home jersey which i remember i got about a year ago because i think i saw that aston villa is really doing well and i said and i, I liked jack Grealish and who, who didn't at the time and i really thought i need an aston villa shirt and i went on the second hand uh, site here in austria uh, where i had a few and i think i saw an under armor one which i was really intrigued by but it was from uh i how, I mean, it looked classic Villa, but and it would have been nice to get it because uh, Under Armour is a brand that I don't have yet. But then I was kind of, yeah, but this was worn in the championship, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, st stupid stuff like that. And I was really intrigued by this Macron shirt worn in 13, 14. I also like a little bit the old, it's not the oldest, the oldest style was with the stripes. I like that one. Uh, but I like that one uh, quite uh, some. And then I realized that uh, this was a throwback design by Macron. Macron was intriguing to me because this was this is kind of one of the older Macron shirts that, that I have. Uh, a throwback design to the 81-82 season, which of course is Villa's arguably greatest ever where they won the European Cup. Maybe the championship before was a bit greater. I let you guys decide. But uh, so I like that one. Uh, it's a slightly different design because, you know, you have the wider, the blue extends onto the sides of the shirt, uh, which is not a traditional Villa look, but this was the first one the Villa didn't look like that. Um, turns out I could have gotten this now. I saw it recently uh, for the same price that I got. I think I paid 20 for it uh, plus for shipping. I could have gotten it. This one is playing uh, with Andreas Weimann on the back, which was he, uh, Austrian playing for Villa at the time. Uh, I'm still thinking about, about, about and selling this one on maybe, but you know, we'll have to see. It's in really good condition. Uh, when, I, when I got it, I was very happy. It also arrived very fast. Uh, as I said, I really like design. The colors to me, I mean, uh, Aston Villa is the original team in these this, this colors. This is one of, the, one of the few uh designs that i say are quintessentially english to me uh looks really nice we have the macron logos on the on the shoulders and the macron as a word mark here the duffer bet sponsor yeah I, it doesn't look bad but you know it's a betting sponsor um some interesting details if you look here at the material there is some additional uh striping uh inside we have an avfc tag kind of here which i think is interesting and on the side this is this material is kind of heavily ventilated and then it has some additional striping here kind of makes it interesting um the one thing when this was the classic macron collar i really love the striping here but i don't understand why we need this part here i think if this would have gone all around i think i would i, I would have been fine and as a very interesting detail is kind of how they break it up here also with this checkerboard pattern and then it says villa so maybe the color it doesn't look bad but it's the one thing that it looks kind of grafted on and it doesn't make much sense in the overall scheme of things um another thing that i uh, like is that it reads on the bottom here prepared which is of course from uh, the crest where it also says prepared. So uh, it, it has really few nice details for 13, 14 shirt. Um, I do definitely like the slight pinstriping effect that's in here. So it's almost a little bit like Adidas, uh, not pinstriping, you know, shadow striping effect. Uh, makes it really nice. It's, it's a really, it's really an eye catcher. I have, I have to say a really nice shirt. 
Um, unfortunately, the season for Villa fans will probably not be too fondly remembered. I'm, I have just pulled, pulled, pulled it up. I think Villa finished uh, uh, yeah, 15th, so not very high. It was not a great season for Villa itself. But yeah, it's a nice shirt. And yeah, uh, as, for Villa, as for Villa shirts, uh, other shirts, uh, of course, you know, you always, always think an away shirt would be nice. Also a classic design would be, would be nice. But I have said a couple away shirt from last, last season, the black. Black one was a really, really nice one. But yeah, hey, so it goes. In any case, yeah, very weird is also this part here. That doesn't make much sense. In any case, let, let me know what you think about this jersey. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, please let me know if you have any memories attached to it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell. So in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.